everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet the Mountain Shawl, which is a gorgeous lacy type shawl. Uh, you can see it here in the photo as well as in more photos on richtexturescrochet.com. I also have my sample one here. Uh, this shawl is worked in a sport weight yarn. I've used Panda Yarns and uh, which is 100% cotton 5 ply. Uh, the color I've shown in this uh, sample is called Another Way to Fly and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So this is a shawl. It's an intermediate uh, pattern just because of our double crochet two together stitches. Uh, it's a rectangular shawl and it features just this simple delicate edging down at the bottom. The final measurements are about 24 by 80 inches and I'll give you the direction to adjust the length of the shawl later on in the video if you would like. Today I'll be continuing to work with the panda yarn. I'm going to be using this gray and white color called We Are Anything But Lost. Uh, links to these items along with the free written pattern which you might want to have on hand is uh, linked in the description of this video and it's on richtexturescrochet.com and uh, thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and take a look around. This channel has many other crochet shawl patterns under the crochet shawl playlist and many other types of patterns as well. Now our design today is worked in rows and we're going to work the shawl lengthwise. Uh, you're also, I think I neglected to mention, you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to switch off. There we go. So four millimeter crochet hook. So the shawl is worked lengthwise. You're working along that long edge. So you're going to start by, if you want the 80 inch length, to work 353 chain stitches. Or if you're starting with a foundation, a single crochet foundation, then uh, you can work 352 stitches. We're going to be working single crochets as our first row. If you would like to change the size of your shawl, as I'm going to do today, I'm only going to work a swatch. You're going to need a stitch multiple of 11 plus one stitches. Today, I'm only going to chain 34. There's 20. Thirty, thirty-three brings us to our multiple of 11 plus one more for 34. You're then going to begin row one by working a single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Next, chain two, skip the next three stitches, and then into the next stitch, you're going to work a double crochet chain five and double crochet back into the same stitch chain two and skip the next three stitches then you're going to single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Chain 
we're going to repeat this all the way across. Chain two, skip the next three stitches, into your next stitch work a double crochet, chain five, and double crochet back into the same stitch. Chain two, skip the next three stitches and work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across, you're going to chain two, end with a chain two, and then single crochet into each of your, skip the next three, and then single crochet into each of the final two stitches. That brings you to the end of your row two. You can then chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to single crochet into each of the first two single crochet stitches. You're then going to work three double crochets into the next chain two space. Into your next chain five space, work six double crochets. So you're skipping that double crochet there uh, right before the space. So into the chain five, work six double crochet stitches. Work three double crochets into your next chain two space. And then work one single crochet into each, or sorry, you're going to skip each of the next four single crochet stitches. You're then going to repeat. So skipping those stitches, you're going to work three double crochets into the next chain two space. Six double crochets into your chain five space. And three double crochets into your next chain two space. Skip the next four single crochets and repeat. Repeat all the way across. When you come all the way across, you'll have two single crochets remaining. You're going to single crochet into each of those final two stitches. That brings you to the end of your row three, chain one, and turn your work. Now for rows four and five, two more rows, you're going to work a single crochet into that first stitch and into each stitch all the way across at the end of your row four, chain one, turn your work and work one more row of single crochet stitches. 
After you've worked two rows of single crochet stitches for rows four and five, meet me back here. For row six, we're going to chain three and turn our work. We're now going to skip the first four single crochet stitches. So that includes the one at the base of your turning chain. So skip one, two, three, four. Into your next stitch, you're going to double crochet. And this is going to count as a double crochet two together. You're then going to chain two, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Chain two, skip the next stitch, and you're now going to work a double crochet two together in the next stitch and then skip the next four and work the second part. So we're going to yarn over, skip that next stitch into that next stitch, work part of the double crochet. Insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to skip the next four stitches, yarn over and into your next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So it's a double crochet two together with four skipped stitches in between. You're then going to chain two, we're now going to repeat chain two, skip the next stitch, work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches, chain two, skip the next single crochet, and double crochet two together, skipping four stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, and then insert your hook in the next stitch, and double crochet two together. Chain two, and repeat all the way across. When you come across to the end, you're going to chain two, skip the next double uh, skip the next stitch, and work a double crochet two together, skipping only three stitches in between your two legs. So the first part, skip the next three, and work the second part of your double crochet two together. And that brings you to the end of your row six. For row seven, we're going to chain five, which counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain two. And you're then going to turn your work. We're now going to double crochet into the top of our first double crochet two together. Next, chain two, and work one single crochet into each of the next four single crochet stitches. Chain two, and now into the top of our next double crochet two together, work one double crochet, chain five, and double crochet. 
We're now going to repeat chain two, single crochet into each of the next four single crochet stitches. Chain two, into the top of your next double crochet two together, work a double crochet, chain five, and double crochet, chain two, and repeat. You're going to repeat it all the way across to the end where you're going to work one single crochet into each of the next four single crochet stitches, chain two, and then into the um, the third chain, if you can get it in there, uh, or into the top of the double crochet, we just want it into this stitch. You're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the top of that chain. That brings you to the end of your row seven. For row eight, I'm going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. Turn your work. Into this first chain two space, you're going to work two more double crochets. Then into your next chain two space, you're going to work three double crochet stitches. Skip the four, next four single crochet stitches, and into your next chain two space, work three double crochets. Into your chain five space, work six double crochet stitches. repeat. Into your next chain two space, work three double crochets, skip the next four single crochet stitches, and work three double crochets into your next chain two space. Work six double crochets into your next chain five space. And so forth all the way across to your final two chain two spaces. When you come to those final chain two spaces, skip the final four single crochet into the next chain two, work three double crochets. And into your final chain two space, which was that starting chain five, you're going to work your final three double crochet stitches. And that brings you to the end of your row eight. For rows nine and ten, so for the next two rows, you're going to chain one, turn your work, 
and simply single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So work two rows of single crochet stitches for rows 9 and 10. For row 11, we're going to chain one, turn your work, and then single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Chain two, skip the next stitch, and work a double crochet two together with four skipped stitches in between. So part of your double crochet, skip the next four, and then work the other half of your double crochet two together. Chain two, skip the next stitch, and work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. We're now going to repeat chain two, skip the next stitch, double crochet two together, stitch it, skipping four stitches in between, chain two, skip the next stitch, and work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final three stitches, you're going to chain two, skip the next stitch, and work one single crochet in each of the final two stitches. That brings you to the end of row 11. For row 12, chain 1 and turn your work. We're going to single crochet into each of the first two stitches. chain two into the top of your next double crochet two together we're going to work a double crochet chain five and double crochet back into the same stitch chain two single crochet into each of the next four stitches chain two and repeat into the top of your next double crochet two together work a double crochet chain five and double crochet, chain two, and single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Repeat it all the way across until you have your final two single crochet stitches remaining. Chain two and single crochet into each of those final two stitches. Now that's all there is to the repeat of the pattern at the end of row 12. 
From here on end for the shawl, you're going to repeat rows 3 through to 12 with a, a total of 6 more times. On that final time through, that 6th time through, you're going to end with a row 10, which was your final single crochet row. So go ahead, repeat rows 3 through to 12, six more times, ending with that row 10, and then meet me back here and we're going to put a simple edging onto our shawl. Once you have worked your repeats, your shawl from the beginning is going to measure approximately 24 inches wide. Uh, I've just stopped on my row 10 here because uh, I'm just doing this swatch. What you're going to do is we're going to add one final row just to add a little bit of an edging to the bottom of our shawl. So we're going to, I've worked my final two single crochet rows, chain one and turn your work. For row one, you're going to half double crochet into your first stitch. You're then going to work a pico stitch. To work your pico, you're going to chain three and then slip stitch back into the base of your chain three. Now it's up to you if you want to do it right into that chain or sometimes I like to get a tighter stitch and I find I can do that when I work into the base of the stitch down below. So you're just slipping back into that stitch. You're then going to half double crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. This is number five. Once you've half double crocheted into the next 11 stitches, you're going to work another pico. So chain three, and then slip stitch back into the base of your chain three or back into the top of that stitch. You're then going to work a total of 12, one half double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. That's number six. And then a pico. Chain three and slip stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, work 12, one half double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches followed by a pico all the way to the end. When you come to the end, you're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. So this is at the very end of the row. Work one final pico. And then half double crochet into your final stitch. You can then fasten off 
Weave in your ends and your mountain's shawl will be complete. I'll just bring up my other color one here. And that's all there is. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.